Welcome to Bikini Bottom Inquirer. Here's your host, the official voice of Bikini Bottom, Perch Perkins. Hey, get out of my chair. Sorry, uh, that's our new intern. Oh, uh, and here's the real Perch Perkins. Thanks, uh, announcer guy. Wait a second, do you not know my name? Perch, come on, we went to college together. Yeah, I totally remember you. <laughs> you are, uh, uh <laughs> it's coming to me. It's too late, Perch. Tonight's top stories. Local hero named Honorary Town Rookie of the Day, even though he doesn't deserve it as much as me. Then, the horrifying truth behind jelly beans is finally revealed. And lastly, giant immaterial letters have mysteriously appeared in the midst of jellyfish fields. Find out what archaeologists are saying about this strange phenomenon. But first, network contracts require us to do a lurch lurkin segment, so let's get this out of the way early with today's weather. Lurch. You might want to stay indoors as we are experiencing a very high chance of weaponized lightning strikes. There are flames coming in from the east. <laughs> West had a 90% chance of robotic jellyfish. Ah! All knees will bow to Plankton. Make that a 100% chance of robotic jellyfish wreaking destruction on the city. Other than that, it's a beautiful sunny day here. Okay, that's the weather perch. Get me out of here. Ah! Oh, ho, ho. send help. <laughs> oh, Lurch, you know I'm busy doing a show. Send the intern. Yeah, sorry, I, I don't know where he is right now. No, no, he'll be fine. Just just give me that coffee. <laughs> All right, Lurch, we'll check back later for any updates. Perch! Next up, honorary rookie of the day was once again given to someone other than me. We're gonna make this kid honorary town rookie of the day. <laughs> but he's a jolly good rookie, but he's a jolly good rookie. He's a local hero, SpongeBob SquarePants, shed his disguise as local fry cook SpongeBob SquarePants earlier today and took to the streets to retrieve a stolen sandwich or something. I mean, who cares? Meanwhile, I sit here every day working tirelessly to keep Bikini Bottom informed without so much as a thank you. And I do good deeds, too. Roll that tape of me cleaning up that litter. Hey, what's this litter doing here? See? But it's good to know that these types of awards are going to the real heroes out there for protecting sandwiches. I mean, this guy must be so brave to take on a criminal half the size of his pinky finger. Great job, SpongeBob. You definitely deserve this award over me. Give me a break. And that brings me to today's community poll. Vote now and I'll read results live later today. Who do you think deserves the title honorary rookie of the day? Me? Or this rectangle? You know what? Hey, Doodlebob. Give me that pencil. There, that's more like it. Ah, get it off me! Get it off me! Stop filming. Cut to lurch or something. Help! Somebody, get me out of here! Our next story, health and safety violations in Bikini Bottom. I mean, more than usual. It all started when authorities learned that the Krusty Krab was locking its customers in the building using military-grade armored technology. Here's Officer John Slugfish with a report. After an investigation, it appears that the restaurant is locking its customers in the building using military-grade armored technology. Yeah, I just said that. Shortly after this news broke, another business was caught illegally selling severed human noses. Here's Officer John Slugfish with a report. 
After an investigation, it appears the shop has been illegally selling severed human noses. Okay, why did we bring this guy in? As if that wasn't enough, the Department of Underwater Health and Safety is now investigating a lawsuit filed against Big Jelly Bean Corp. When one customer noticed something horrifying about his green jelly beans. And we have that customer on the line now for today's Perch Phone. Mr. Bass, can you hear me? You can call me Bubble. Uh, okay, <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Tell us about your horrifying jelly bean experience. Yes, while I was minding my own business, eating a handful of jelly beans, when I noticed that one of the jelly beans had wiggling antennae, tiny legs, and one bulging red eye. Oh, that sounds absolutely disgusting. So, I tried to eat it for several minutes, but it kept running away from me. When I couldn't catch it, I decided to sue. Wait, that's the same tiny guy who stole the Krabby Patty in the last story. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't give you Rookie of the Day for that. I mean, apparently they'll give that award to just about anyone, even though I'm the one. Ah! <laughs> Come on, get that thing away from me. Erase it or something. Cut to lurch, cut to lurch. We'll be right back after this short message. Bikini Bottom Inquirer, brought to you by Big Jelly Bean Corp. Now less likely to contain vermin. Big Jelly Bean Corp, we're probably vermin free. Now, for our top story. Message mystery. In jellyfish fields. Appears overnight. Without warning. Even top archaeologists are stumped by this message mystery. Okay, okay, all right, we get it. That's right, strange immaterial letters were uncovered all over jellyfish fields this morning, leaving citizens and scientists alike wondering, what does it mean? Is it a message from aliens? Are they ancient glyphs that were somehow unearthed? Are they just giant metaphors symbolizing a closed-minded character learning something through song? F is for friends who do stuff together. U is for you and me. Try it! N is for anywhere at any time at all. Down here in the deep blue sea. Yeah, 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 we get it. While nobody knows the truth, top archaeologists are working tirelessly to decode the message to no avail. When asked how they feel about decoding such a difficult message, they all said, it just isn't fun. Before we sign off, I'm getting word that the results are in. You voted Bikini Bottom, and now it's time for you to decide who really deserves the title of Honorary Rookie of the Day. And the winner is... You know what? This was a stupid poll anyway. Who cares what the people vote? Not like it means anything. I'm Perch Perkins. Perch! Oh, thank Neptune. I finally made it out of that terrible storm. Back in the studio, safe and sound. Ah! Ah! What is that thing? Perch! Get it off me, Perch! Ah! Ah! And that's all the news that's fit to float. Good night! It's horrible! Oh no!